The Austin Rover Group were also very much involved with the rally, with a two-car entry for Tony Pond, Rob Arthur, and Abdullah Omar, John Daniels. The cars were originally built for the yet-to-be-run Peking Paris Marathon, and on this event were entered in the prototype Group S class. ARG were in a confident mood prior to the start, and were literally riding high as they swung their practice car alongside the hotel swimming pool, ready for a pre-event press conference. All Tony Pond's pace noting had been carried out by Colin Malkin and Rob Arthur, as Pond did not arrive in Oman until the morning of the rally, due to business commitments. He was not undaunted, however, by the prospect of never having driven over the roads. The organisers have allowed four-minute gaps between competitors in an effort to reduce the problem caused by the dust. Inside the Nizwa Motel, ARG mechanics wait anxiously for the arrival of Tony Pond. Rumours are already circulating that he is stopped at the side of the road on Section 1. His teammate, Abdullah Omar, arrives to be met by an anxious team manager, Colin Malkin. Colin, what's the problem with Tony? Hit a rock. We've been told he hit a rock. Uh, and there's oil. Basically, so we don't, we don't honestly know. We've sent somebody in to fetch the car out. Yeah. Uh, we can't really tell you. Well, it, we were about 10 k's into the first stage and it came past us sounding a bit yeah. sick. Yeah. It was 20 k's in when he stopped. Yeah. So, uh, we don't really know. When we know, we'll let you know. <laughs> okay, thanks, Colin. Cheers.